Hello, thanks for watching. This is part two in a series of videos around the Mystic Bulletin Board system and specifically things to do with Raspberry Pi. Since the last video I've spent quite a bit of time creating what I'd describe as a turnkey system that uh, is pretty much configured for the FSX Net message network. Now you can get a copy of this from bbs.geek.nz. I'll provide the link in the uh, description below. But for now what I want to do is just quickly take you through some of those uh, configurations that I've made to this turnkey system. The theory here being that you can unzip this into a mystic directory on your Raspberry Pi like we created the other week and the um, system is pretty much good to go and run. If you want to understand a lot of what's actually running and how it's all configured then please refer to the other videos on this channel because it's that that will give you the, the backstory to all the various setups that I've done. Um, let's just firstly kick off by going into the mystic directory, so I'll cd space mystic and I will run the configuration editor so that's dot forward slash mystic space dash cfg now I won't take you through everything blow by blow but what I do want to point out that you'll want to change is under the editor the user editor at the moment there is a user called sysop I'll say sysop you might want to say sysop but let's go with sysop for now so let's pretend you're coming into this and you want to change this for the first time to um, your alias so in here I would call this let's pretend I'm going to be red72 is my alias and my real name is not system operator my real name is Joe user and under city my city my country well in my case I'd be in Dunedin New Zealand and then if I press escape and save those changes then that sets me up for uh, the correct user login oh by the way the password at the moment is set for 1234 so I might want to change that for the purposes of this I'll just make it 5678 but you can set your own super secret password under configuration in the general settings um, you can change the BBS name from FSXNet BBS to something else and under the SISOP name this is where you would stick your SISOP so I'm red72 is my alias and the feedback goes to red72 escape out of there so assigns that just to point out that the servers have been configured some have been disabled but it's it's pretty turnkey uh, you'll see that there are message areas already created for the network and again look at the other videos on the YouTube channel to find out more about these likewise there are file areas that have been created for the node list and information packs and the whole thing is set to go with a bunch of events that will run hourly and also look for incoming and outgoing messages a couple of points to um, highlight for the Raspberry Pi version if you take a look say in the event editor you'll see in the shell command they begin with a dot forward slash and then the command for mutil the mystic utility and so on uh, likewise if you go and have a look in the message base editor and say we choose the first uh, message base you'll see the pathing is forward slash and it's all lowercase um, for the file names the echo tags I've kept is uppercase so have a poke around this if you want to download and have a look at it but again as I say this is all turnkey stuff refer to the other videos to find out more um, talking of case if I open up the file browser here in the Raspberry Pi there's a couple of any files which I refer to in my other videos in fact there's three but there are two that I'm just going to point out to you in this video the mail in any file because it's Raspberry Pi when you get to the file toss stanza you'll see that the directories are forward slash um, and it's lower case that I'm using just to be consistent so forward slash mystic forward slash instead of if it was a Windows one it would be more like C colon backslash mystic back mystic backslash files and so on so it's it's none of that it's this other way 
um, and that's really the only difference in this configuration file compared to the other version. So just be aware of that. Um, also if I get out of that, which I need to do this, and I go into the maintainy file, the merge node lists option of which there's a whole video about on this YouTube channel the pathing again is slightly different. It's got a low, it's forward slash mystic files uh, underscore fsx node. And you'll see I've actually created two lines there because um, the case of the file name that you're trying to examine when it's opening up and looking for node list files is important in Linux or Raspberry Pi land uh, because case, yeah, case, this is a different file or seen to be a different file by the operating system compared to one that has a, a zip file name which is lowercase. So to cover back, uh, both bases I've actually stuck two lines in there. Although um, at the moment I know that the file that's actually being sent is uh, uppercase. But anyway if you want to cover your, your backside then that's the way to do it and I've, I'll leave that set up. So that's something worth knowing as well. Um, another thing that I wanted to show you, which is again Mystic related, uh, Raspberry Pi related, is you know how we um, have this terminal set up and we're going dot forward slash Mystic and then if I wanted to do a local login I go dash L and this time I can log in as red72 and my password is 5678 because we changed it and because we're a SISOP it's asking us do we want to be invisible log and I'll say no step past the other options and on this main menu which is basically a bog standard um, installation menu I've added an additional option which is option 1 FSX net and when you run that it'll probably download an updated version of the info pack but this is a script that provides you with links to customize it for your bulletin board um, and also you'll see if I just run it again down the bottom there's the option of pressing O for more options and there's information about the network if you're new to it. You can look at the history file which is the latest information. Uh, you can look at the um, bulletin boards that are actually in the network along with their um, telnet addresses if you want to go check them out and so on. So just take a quick look at that and if I go back to the Mystic directory there is a docs directory which ships with the stock standard install but I've also added a folder called fsxnet which contains information about the network plus this uh, last entry xqfsxnet.txt gives you some information about that script that we were um, just taking a look at uh, written by xqter and um, a very nice tidy job it is too so that's just a little bit of detail there now the last thing I just wanted to show you is if you open up another terminal to get your turnkey system running you'll want to run the Mystic Internet Server. Now the Raspberry Pi version has two options. There is a daemon version which effectively loads into memory and runs sight unseen and to run that you go um, sudo super user do dot forward slash mis space uh, dash d and I'm not going to run that one at the moment because I don't want to use that and the reason I'm not going to do it is because I would rather have a like a graphical user interface that actually lets me see the server in action and I guess to start with for me anyway being new to this I like to see what's going on so I'm going to get rid of that minus D and just run it with the, um, the dot forward slash miss but it won't run at the moment because I'm in the wrong directory. I need to cd forward slash mystic before I do that. So now I can go super user do sudo space dot forward slash uh, mis and press enter and you'll see that the servers come up and the telnet server shows that red72 is logged in browsing menus. If I press the tab key the bink p server is running. There are other videos that explain these things and lastly the event system and this is really why it's important to leave this one running is up and running as well so it will automatically poll the hub collect messages for you and it will also process incoming and outgoing stuff as well as running nightly maintenance so leave that one running on your turnkey system all the time if you want to close this down just the escape key 
allows you to use your arrow keys to shut down. If I shut down and say yes, I'm back at the command prompt. But I'm going to uh, rerun that because I want to keep that up and running. So that is a very quick walkthrough a turnkey system. The link to this version of the software with all the any e files and everything that you've seen is in the description below. And if you do like this, please um, you know give it the thumbs up, give us some comments if you wish. Um, but please refer to the other videos on this channel to actually understand what I've configured because I'm not spending a lot of time explaining all of the various things like the menu section and the file section and so on because I've covered that in videos that just happen to use a Windows version. But as you can see there's not a lot different really um, for good old Raspberry Pi. Case matters though and try to keep everything that you save, you know, files, file names etc. Just go with lower case because if you migrate between the two systems uh, Windows versus Raspberry Pi it seems like being a lower case uh, consistency is, is a good thing. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you again soon.